In today's video I will tell you how you can break your phone addiction and basically stop being a digital slave. On this channel I talk about language learning and self-development. So if you are interested in those topics, click the subscribe button and let's go. Recently I've realized that I'm addicted to my phone, like most people nowadays. And I hate it, because it takes away from me something that is the most valuable, my time. Currently, I use my phone for about 4 hours per day, sometimes more, sometimes less. But I'm sure that I could use this time so much better. But what if I tell you that it was so much worse before? I used to use my phone for about 8 hours per day. It's like having a job that no one pays you for. Honestly, it's a crazy amount of time. Because if you sleep on average 8 hours, you use your phone for another 8 hours, there is just 8 hours left to live your life. When you use your phone, there are two realities. The first one is the virtual one. You can be whoever you want, you are happy, you laugh at funny videos, you can see so many beautiful things, and you can also post your own photos to save memories. This reality makes you use your phone for longer and longer. But there is also another side to this story. The second reality that shows you sitting in your pyjamas and not really progressing in your life. Not really studying for your exams and not really getting where you want to be in life. This reality makes you feel a bit lonely and depressed. And that's why your screen time increases, because you just want to stay in a better place. Anyways, I've realized that I was a digital slave, and I knew that I had to do something about it. So I tried a bunch of different methods. I tried no phone challenge, I tried setting time limits for the apps, I tried uninstalling apps that I tend to overuse. Thanks to some strategies, I managed to reduce my screen time by half. But some others were completely ineffective and even made me use my phone for longer and longer. So in today's video, I will share with you what worked for me and what didn't. So you know the most effective strategies to break your phone addiction, if you struggle with the same problem as I. And chances are that you do. If you find yourself using your phone wherever you go and whatever you do, it means that you may be addicted to it. I feel like phone addiction is a very common problem nowadays. And it's like an elephant in a room. People who are addicted to their phones, they don't even realize it or they just decide to ignore this topic. And to confirm that, let me show you some statistics. According to my research, 47% of Americans admit that they're addicted to their phones. The average American checks their smartphone 352 times per day. 71% of people spend more time on their phone than with their romantic partner. And almost two-thirds of children spend four hours or more per day on their smartphones. Of course, those numbers can differ if you don't live in the United States. But if you live in a highly developed country, there are high chances that those numbers are similar. So how can you break your phone addiction? Firstly, I will share with you strategies that didn't work well for me, so you can avoid them. And then I will share with you strategies that worked very well, so watch this video till the end. Number one, setting time limits for apps. This is something that didn't really work well for me. The way human psychology works is that when something is limited, we tend to want it even more. So if you set a time limit for an app, it will just create a desire to use it for longer and longer. Another problem connected with that is that you can easily change your time limit for an app in your phone settings, so you can constantly extend it. So I remember that I set time limit for my Instagram, it was like 10 minutes, and then I extended it to 20, 30, and finally I end up using this app even longer than I used to. But I want you to remember that I just talk about my experience. Maybe there are some people for whom setting time limits for apps works well. So I encourage you to try it out. And if you have any opinion on what I say, comment down below so we can exchange our thoughts. 
Number two, no phone in specific time of the day. So another thing that didn't really work well for me was trying not to use my phone after a certain hour at night and in the morning. I think that the reason why it didn't work is similar to the previous point. When something is limited, we tend to want it even more. So I think that, well, maybe it might work if you are very disciplined about it. But somehow I failed. I still use my phone in the morning to wake up. I know that this is probably not the best habit, but it helps me to get conscious faster. I don't even have to turn on my internet connection, but my brain wakes up so much faster after I see a screen, especially during the winter when it's still dark outside. Number three, turning off notifications. So now it's time to start with the things that actually worked for me very well. And one of them is turning off all your notifications. My own notifications have been turned off for a long time and I basically get no notifications. So I don't get distracted so easily. My Instagram, Facebook, YouTube notifications are turned off. And this is actually the first thing that I would do if I wanted to reduce my screen time turning off notifications. And this is actually something that I did at first. The good thing about it is that it's easy to do. And if you want to check your messages, you can still do it by clicking on the app. And at the same time, you are not distracted by every single message or event that pops up on your phone constantly. Number four, sleep mode. Sleep mode is another thing that helped me to reduce my phone addiction. I turned on sleep mode for day and night, so my phone is only black and white. Let me show you. I think it works very well for me, because I'm a pretty visual person. And all the apps have beautiful, colorful logos that just shout, click on me. And when my phone is just black and white, I don't feel such a strong desire to use my phone for so long as I used to. Honestly, in my opinion, black and white screen looks so much worse, but that's why it actually helps you to spend less time on your phone. Number five, uninstalling apps that you overuse. Some apps are more addictive than others, and if you uninstall them from your phone, you're not gonna use them, right? At least in theory. You can still install them again, but it's actually so much work and you're gonna think twice before you do it. Uninstalling apps that you tend to overuse works very well when you have to be productive. I'm not saying that you have to delete your social media accounts, but what I'm saying is that you can just uninstall them from your phone and it can prevent you from pointless scrolling. Sometimes it's just a matter of our habit that we click on an app and scroll it. But when there is no app, we're not gonna even click on it. And I think that that's why somehow it works very well for me. Number six, no phone challenge. There was a time when I did all of those things. I turned off notifications. I turned on my sleep mode. I only installed some apps that I tend to overuse but somehow I was still using my phone for too long. So I decided to do a no phone challenge to see how my life would change if I didn't have a phone. And I think that this is something worth trying, even though you may feel very uncomfortable at first. The results after a few days were pretty shocking to me. I was instantly more productive. I had much more ideas of everything in general. I started practicing my hobbies more often. I was painting, listening to audiobooks and learning German. Another thing is that I got focused so much more on myself. You can laugh or not, but even my personal hygiene improved. I started paying more attention to the way I looked. Maybe it's because I had just much more time for everything in general. I had an impression that I became much more confident and I was also much more focused on connections with other people in everyday life. No phone challenge was an interesting experiment that made me realize that all the information that I can find on the internet is not as important as the real version of me. However, I bear in mind that it's impossible to completely eliminate phones from our lives. 
because there are actually amazing tools that give us many possibilities. So I think that we should find healthy balance and use our phones to our advantage, not against us. Check out my other videos. For example, this one visible on the screen right now. If you struggle to focus for a long time and be productive. Thank you for watching this video and see you there.